Hey everyone, today on the Beauty of Gourmand, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the best damn oven roasted chicken and potatoes in the oven. Now it's a bit of a mouthful, but I promise it's going to be a lot easier than saying. Super simple recipe, could all be done with just one little knife and a blender. That's all the prep you need. It's a one pot wonder. Stick around, I'll show you guys how to make it. So the base flavoring of this chicken is going to be sort of a piri piri style marinade. Of course, like I said, it's going to be butter basted. We're going to, for the piri piri base, we're going to need 12 cloves of garlic, two whole lemons juiced, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Here I have a little mix. It's a one tablespoon of salt, two tablespoons of paprika, one tablespoon of cayenne pepper. And over here we have a nice little mix of peppers. I have four scotch bonnets, 12 little chilies. Now it depends how hot you want it, whatever chili you have. I mean, I couldn't find Piri Piri here in Montreal. We're, we're just finishing winter, so produce is kind of scarce. Just get whatever you want, whatever you feel comfortable with. And you're gonna need one sweet pepper like this. Now, the only reason why I suggest you use a pepper like this and not a bell pepper, sometimes bell peppers are a little bitter. Uh, these, are, these tend to be a lot sweeter. I suggest when you're working with chilies, always use gloves because, you know, they tell you to wash your hands properly, but it's happened to everyone. I'm not going to pretend like it hasn't happened to me. We think we're tough. I cut chilies without using a glove. You wash your hands, you miss a spot, you go to the bathroom, and then you're in for a world of pain for about five hours. So guys, please use a glove. We're just going to top the chilies off, leave the seeds inside. It's just going to add a little bit more heat. Again, with this, just leave the seeds in. It's not a spicy pepper, it doesn't really matter. You can just cut this, make it a little easier for the blender. Scoop this all up. And that's literally all the prep we're gonna do with a knife. So the next part of this is super simple. Everything is gonna go into a blender and put all our chilies in. And there you go. We're going with our garlic, our apple cider vinegar, our lemon juice. Our spices. And we're going to go in with a little bit of olive oil. I'm not going to put too much in at first. Anywhere between two to 300 milliliters. We're going to go in right here like this. We're going to start off on a low speed. Make sure your blender's on before trying to turn it on. There we go. So that's what you want to be left with. A nice, spicy, super fragrant sauce. Just a little bit heat. It's a nice rounded heat. It's not a knock your socks off kind of heat. All right, so here we are. I'll show you guys how to make uh, the flavored butter. Again, really easy. It's one whole pound of softened butter. We're gonna add to it one sprig of rosemary. Here's a nice little trick. Start from like, I'd say the top half and just pull down when all the rosemary flowers come off. The same thing and just work your way up. You could sit there and pick them one by one, but if you have the free time to do it, go ahead. We're going to go in with a little bit of olive oil. Now it's important to add a little bit of olive oil because butter burns way 
way quicker than oil. Now, even though olive oil doesn't have a crazy high smoke point, this is only going in the oven at 300 degrees. So olive oil will do the job. And then we're gonna go in with, I'd say, I don't know, a good uh, 10, 10 tablespoons. I don't know guys, again, I'm not gonna count tablespoons. Add as much or as little bit as you want. We're gonna see what it looks like once we're done mixing it. All right, so here's our chicken. Pat dry it so we can get that butter to stick on nice. Butter's gonna help with flavoring. It's gonna help get all that color into the chicken. I mean, it's all flavor. It's gonna help with the browning just come in with your butter and then as if you're finger painting as a child. See the inside of the bird. Put it in a bowl. Now we're going to leave it marinate anywhere between, I'd say minimum four hours. And then but overnight is best. Honestly, if you could get this chicken marinated, leave it overnight, it could be done the day before, even better. Okay, so here we have our potatoes. It's a nice little mix of potatoes. I mean, you could buy this at any grocery stores. We've got some purple potatoes, some white potatoes, some yellow potatoes. It's a nice little mix. We're gonna add in a good dollop of butter. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt, just cause potatoes could use the salt. We're going to add a little bit of olive oil. Same reason again. It'll help control the butter. Everything a nice little mix. Took me about 10 minutes to wash my hands before, so. I'll use a spoon this time. Like I said, this is a one pot wonder. Everything goes in a cast iron pan. We leave a little bit of room for the chicken in the middle. Come in. Just like that. I bet this one to stay. Now this bad boy is gonna go in the oven anywhere between two and a half, I'll say around two and a half, three hours. Everyone's oven is different. Usually on like a nice rotisserie spit, they usually take about three hours, you know, but everyone's oven is different. If, you were, if we were to do this in a big commercial oven at the restaurant, it would take uh, maybe, I don't know, two hours. They're a lot more powerful. And just have it on regular bake. We're going to put it on the middle rack in a regular bake setting. We don't want convection. We don't want to get this too crispy. We're going to crisp it up after. We want this chicken to get nice and juicy. And uh, that's it. We're going to throw this bad boy in the oven and we'll come back in about two and a half hours. All right, everyone. So here we are after two and a half hours. Uh, I took an internal temperature. You want your chicken to be to have a final temperature of 75 degrees celsius or 175 fahrenheit uh it's always good to take it out a little bit before because we're going to leave it rest and that's what it should look like we're going to put this down now after you take out your chicken Turn your oven up as high as it can go. We're going to go convection roast. How high can you How high this? 475. Watch this. Look at all the juice that's going to run out. 
And that's all flavor right there. We're going to leave this bad boy rest. And then you see all this, all this here, gold. So what we're going to do, we're going to bring all the potatoes in the middle and we're going to smash them. Your potatoes should definitely be cooked at this point. So you're going to smash these down with a spatula, wooden spoon, whatever you have, just to get some surface area. These basically confit. They've been, they've been uh, slow cooking in the butter. And that's not just butter in there. There's a lot of chicken fat in there as well. And you're going to smash these down. There's a little too much fat in here. So what we'll do is that we're just going to strain some out. Don't get rid of this though. This is all flavor. I'm going to put this back on the chicken after once it's, once it's done resting. You're going to go back in the oven, full whack. Okay, so my oven's up to 475. <laughs> Wash you don't lose your eyebrows. We'll leave that in there for, let's say, like 10 minutes. In the meantime, we're going to get our chicken ready. Remember that hot sauce we made before? Put it in a bottle, throw it in your fridge. We're going to make a little perinase. So here I just have some plain old mayonnaise. There we go, we're going to put that there. Mix it all up to combine. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the chicken, we're going to cut it up, grab a pair of shears. Usually I'll start from the back to get rid of the spine. The back of the chicken is the ugly part. Put it up a little bit. See all that juice in there? That's all flavor. Chicken's nice and moist. Pro tip, this little piece right here, that's the oyster. This is for the cook. Mm. Mm. I'll flip this back over. We're gonna go right down the breast. Cut through. I'm gonna go through the thighs, cut around. All right, so now that our chicken's quartered up, we're just gonna do this real quick. See the potatoes nice and roasted? That's what we want. Bubbling, roasting, we're getting some nice color. I'm going to take our chicken, put it back on. Give everything one final whack in the oven for another five minutes. Never, ever, ever throw out your juices. That's all flavor. I'm gonna grab this, throw it back in the oven for another five minutes. And then we're ready to eat. Are we rolling? Yeah. Oh, sorry. So uh, yeah, it's been about uh, five minutes. Just be careful when you open the oven. Chicken ASMR. That's what you want. You serve this up on the table just like that. Good old rustic style chicken.
right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment of what you might want to see next on the channel. We're just starting up, so we'll take all the suggestions we could get. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and like us on Facebook. This has been another episode of Le Bearded Gourmand. Enjoy your meal, everyone.